Well, we can't ignore the connection between climate and water. Uh, the primary ways we experience climate change is through water. It's rising sea levels, it's ocean acidification, it's changes in precipitation like droughts and floods. And that's infecting us in Puget Sound more so almost than anywhere on the planet. Our waters are turning more acidic as a result of global carbon pollution. And obviously the spirit of activism is pretty deep in the Pacific Northwest and I'm thinking of the big flotilla action of yes. a couple of years ago where yes, everyone... Activist, yes, uh, I was there. Yes, we told Shell Oil that they could not use the Seattle waterfront as a home base for their Arctic drilling operations and they pulled up their anchor and moved on so they, they can't use the shores of, of Seattle for that and that's really important thing to realize globally is each own community each of our communities needs to be able to rise up and say no to rampant fossil fuel destruction and some people who just get extremely disillusioned with the state of things the the inaction and even regression uh, policy wise on behalf of our federal government obviously I'm thinking about the policies of Donald Trump rolling back funding for federal agencies that are critical to monitoring climate change and our weather etc um, what do you say to people that are like maybe marching doesn't work maybe everyone coming out together they don't really pay attention to that is the was the Kai activist uh, demonstration sort of proof positive that no demonstrating does actually get get change yes we have hundreds of victories around the world every year and people do make a difference and let's not forget as we get ready for this people's climate march today it was the first earth day in 1970 47 years ago the largest demonstration in our nation's history that got us the clean water act the clean air act the epa the endangered species act within two or three years that happened during wartime it happened during a republican administration so the people actually are in charge but they have to let the leaders know so what are some of the issues your organization is working on in your community? Well, we're working to stop toxic pollution from stormwater and wastewater, agricultural pollution, uh, but we're also working on climate change. We, we can't ignore the connection between climate and water. It, it, it's really serious. We need to build resiliency in our communities because climate change is happening, uh, and at the same time, work to curb our global emissions of carbon pollution.